and I'll uh, invite you in 10 years to update us because I'm 63 and I'm still in the zero score club and a CT angiogram read by one of Matt Budoff's projects that's clean as can be. So, you know, I don't take that lightly because that's, you know, from a cardiovascular standpoint, one of the most optimal predictors of long-term survival. I- I'm going to fight to keep it zero. <laughs> Short one today, guys. I'm just back from Portugal, a pandemic science conference, which was fantastic, actually. And I'm just releasing a conversation I recorded with Dr. Joel Kahn, the uh, vegan cardiologist. So we don't fully agree on certain dietary uh, regimes, uh, but we do agree on a lot of the cardiovascular science and how to prevent heart attacks. And today we're going to have a quick chat on blood pressure. And it is a bit salesy, perhaps, because there is an offer in there to get 20% off an excellent blood pressure moderating nutraceutical. But there you go. But enjoy the conversation regardless. So here we are with Dr. Joel Kahn, America's Healthy Heart Doctor, as per Reader's Digest. And great to see you again, Joel. Thank you, Ivor. This is going to be a fun conversation. It's going to help a lot of people across the ocean. Yep, great, great to be here with you. And uh, blood pressure is what we're going to talk about, a brief conversation around the problem of hypertension, which is basically an epidemic in the West, essential or blood pressure with no specific pathological cause that's known, but it's just you've got high blood pressure as you age. I mean, half, half of adults practically have it, and in the ancestral tribes around the world, they tend to not have it at all. So it's a huge problem. I agree. I, I am a literally, as a cardiologist, a blood pressure fanatic. Uh, we carry dozens of blood pressure cuffs. My patients go home with them because it's one of those silent uh, parameters. And you know what you can't measure, you can't fix. Uh, people come in 190 over 110 blood pressure and they feel fine. And you know if they don't have some device at home to check it. Plus, number one killer in the world is hypertension according to the global burden of disease study 190 plus countries about 18 million people a year worldwide die due to blood pressure causing brain infarct brain bleed heart attack dissection peripheral arterial disease erectile dysfunction you might as well die by the time you've had erectile dysfunction that's uh just a common <laughs> quality of life uh but you know it's really a huge problem. So step one, test for it and don't rely on your doctor visits, test for it at home. Step two, natural approaches to heal your arteries and bring your blood pressure to optimal and you'll uh, enhance your life quality and maybe quantity. Yeah. And uh, blood pressure as well as being detrimental in itself, causing, you know, uh, extra stress in the arteries and maybe lesions and all that kind of stuff and causing organ damage and problems. Uh, it's, it's also an excellent just reference to show there is something wrong in your physiology, that you have a major problem. So it's a great flag as well, a marker for an underlying thing you need to address. I uh, totally agree. And, uh, you know, uh, you're the engineer. We don't talk that much in my field of cardiology about biomechanical stresses. You know, your, your LDL oxidized cholesterol is high. It may injure your endothelium. Your uh, blood sugar is chronically high, may injure your endothelium. But we're talking about a mechanical pounding against the aorta, against the left anterior descending artery, against your renal arteries, your femoral iliac arteries down to the legs and pelvis. And it's the mechanical forces that damage the endothelium, leading to inflammation, leading to uh, calcification, leading to stiffening of arteries. So, you know, a 110 over 70 is much less of a hemodynamic shearing force than a 180 over 90. So it's simple engineering you know, root cause analysis. And, you know, you would know a small defect in a machine pounding away time after time is going to result in malfunction and maybe ultimately breakage of the machine. Uh, Human uh, bodies and blood vessels are pretty similar. Yeah, that's a very fair point indeed. And we were going to talk about how you can help with this. Obviously, diet and lifestyle always have to be mentioned first. Uh, because improving your diet, improving your exercise and your lifestyle will tend to naturally drop blood pressure. So that's really important. 
But we're also going to talk about our mutual friend Warren of Extend Life uh, New Zealand, Vascu Flow, and I think this was one of the first products he came out with, multi-component, very well researched, uh, the best possible ingredients from the best suppliers in the world. Uh, and it may have been the one I think that you first came across that introduced you to his, uh, his business. It's true. I was listening to your podcast and uh, you interviewed Warren and it was focusing on this recently released uh, multi-component product all about raising nitric oxide production. And it's pretty hard to be a cardiologist and not talk to your patients every day about nitric oxide called the miracle molecule in 1992, awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine to three researchers in 1998. The fact that you can keep your arteries youthful, healthy, non-calcified and avoid many chronic diseases, literally not just of the heart, but of the nervous system, the immune system, uh, the respiratory system, certainly the sexual function of your body and the endocrine function by ensuring robust nitric oxide production in your endothelial artery lining. But how do you do that other than not smoke and get some fitness? Of course, we always base everything on a healthy lifestyle, but what else can you do to boost the miracle molecule nitric oxide? And that's what Warren really went deep on when he picked the components of VascuFlow. Yep, that's it. And the, just one last word on the nitric oxide itself. It was astonishing to me when I saw the graphs of the fall off in production of nitric oxide as you age. And I mean, even if you stay apparently healthy by your measures, uh, but certainly if you don't have all the best uh, healthy metrics as you age, the fall off is stunning. And again, I might show it on the screen as, I, as I'm saying this. And you really got to counter that because we all, as we age, everything gets worse. Insulin resistance tends to get worse. Uh, all of the body's functions are more challenged. So with VascuFlow, uh, to that end, to aid and support in this important area, one of the key uh, ingredients is red spinach extract. So maybe we'll talk briefly on that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I got really excited when I looked at VascuFlow and the first ingredient I saw was red spinach. I think it's a gram of red spinach. But um, I was aware for about a decade that red spinach was a big dietary source of nitrates that convert to nitric oxide. It's hard to find red spinach in your produce department. The advantage of red spinach over green spinach, besides being just this abundant dietary nitrate, nitric oxide food-based source, is that some people are concerned about kidney stones with green spinach. They are very rich in oxalates and red spinach is nearly absent oxalates. So uh, it was uh, something I was aware of that the optimal nitric oxide dietary nitrate booster might be red spinach. And here, Warren of Extend Life put it in as the number one component by chewing, ingesting, orally uh, taking in dietary nitrates of which red spinach is superb choice you boost the body's ability to make nitric oxide. as a wonderful path uh, that everybody should utilize. Yeah, and uh, also the sourcing of it. Well, A, you know, he's got a great research team there, so they came across the best source, and it's certainly been shown to be far superior than some alternative sources. And again, you gotta get the right supplier uh, where it's bioactive and it's the best possible quality material. And the second thing he put in was quercetin, now, this is relatively well known out there, the importance of quercetin. So maybe we'll just touch on that. Yeah, quercetin in some of the world calls it quercetin, but it's a polyphenol that is rich in onions, garlic, uh, apples, uh, but you can concentrate it as a supplement. It's known to support that healthy lining called the endothelium in by enhancing production of the miracle molecule nitric oxide. And then there's a lot of interest in it because it also seems to be an immune support supplement. Um, there are human studies that quercetin does support a normal blood pressure in randomized studies. So perfect addition to the red spinach. And then one which I discovered a few years ago with uh, a good friend of yours, Dr. Matt Budoff, who's the extraordinarily cardiologist who was involved in the early days of the CT scan of the heart, the amazing 
calcium scan and I actually interviewed Matt I was very lucky to catch him in LA back in 2017 with Dr Jeff Gerber and we did a great interview with him on CT scanning but he didn't mention at that time he is a major proponent of aged garlic and garlic in terms of helping with vascular health. Yeah, so, you know, we've been studying garlic for about 15 years now, and we found that it uh, lowers stress, but more importantly, lowers heart disease and reverses plaque. So uh, part of our Mediterranean diet can now kind of be focused and, and maybe uh, enhanced to really improve your heart health. And I think he has six or seven papers out on that, actual RCTs, we can talk about that. But Warren has chosen the black garlic extract, harder to get, more rare, but it has a good bit of evidence to be the best possible ingredient. And Warren always goes for the best in his products. I agree. There's an enzyme that creates nitric oxide called uh, NOS, nitric oxide synthase. And for reasons we don't know, garlic activates the enzymes to get more nitric oxide. When you age garlic or choose black garlic, it's more potent than just sauteing some garlic in your marinara sauce, for example. So uh, the fact that it's in this supplement is in addition to your dietary garlic. In Japan, aged garlic, black garlic is used as a therapy of many cardiovascular diseases. That's what our mutual friend Matt Budoff was aware of. And brought back to the United States and Los Angeles, a research team. And you're right, six or seven randomized human studies documenting really potent effects on, on blood pressure, on cholesterol, but actually on coronary artery anatomy and plaque volume. I, I think this is a superstar component. Excellent. And it joins two other super components. And the last one we'll wrap up with is a grapeseed S extract. I'm less familiar with that, but I think polyphenol and maybe an antioxidant effect. Yes. And actually also has some data that that uh, en enzyme that creates nitric oxide. And it's very important to stress. Uh, some athletes are pounding down arginine or pounding down citrulline to get maximal um, nitric oxide activity. Well, it turns out if you don't have the enzyme called ENOS, endothelial nitric oxide synthase, if the enzyme isn't functioning at its maximum, you're just gonna accumulate the uh, product and it's not gonna become nitric oxide. And there may be some detriment to all that. So grapeseed extract along with the quercetin can make ENOS more active. So your whole pattern in your endothelium of making more nitric oxide for cardiovascular support, sexual support, brain support, pulmonary support, uh, bladder support, uh, on and on, uh, will be at its maximum. And we gotta, we gotta fight that aging effect that you mentioned a few minutes ago, the fact that we produce less nitric oxide with age and activating ENOS is one of the pathways and natural substances do it, which is fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. And as we mentioned in an earlier discussion we had, people need to keep in mind too that, you know, everyone or broadly people respect pharmaceuticals, the amazing technology of our, our pharma giants to make these drugs that are unbelievably useful. Everyone accepts that, but they pretty much all come from plant world proteins and molecules in the plant world. And of course, the industry, you know, tweaks them and you know, moves them around and then they're patented and they're highly profitable and they're respected. But nutraceuticals, if properly sourced and if with the right ones, you're basically getting, you know, the magic in the same way. It's not patented, it's not tweaked, but it can have serious benefit because it's a similar thing in a way. Uh, absolutely. Uh, this, this synergy that was very well thought out by Extend Life's research team led by Warren Matthews. And really, you know, we've chatted before about their other, you know, major cardiovascular support uh, uh, supplement called CX-8. You know, CX-8 and vascular flow as a combination is just a one-two punch for augmenting your cardiovascular health, your endothelium, your nitric oxide production, your antioxidant status. So, that's what I do myself. I take both those products every day and uh, you know, feel wonderful and combine it with a healthy lifestyle, but it's a great supplement package. 
Yep, and same here, uh, even though I have luckily, but you can never depend on this, never take it for granted. A few years ago, I have a zero score. I'm 53 now. I'm probably going to check again in the next year or two. But even with that, you want to keep it. And certainly, if you've got a high score or any problems with elevated blood pressure or any other indicators, then you certainly got to do everything you can within your power, within your means, of course. There is cost involved in, in getting the best stuff, but it behooves us really because you only get one life. Right. And I'll uh, invite you in 10 years to update us because I'm 63 and I'm still in the zero score club and a CT angiogram read by one of Matt Budos projects that's clean as can be. So, you know, I don't take that lightly because that's, you know, from a cardiovascular standpoint, one of the most optimal predictors of long-term survival. I I'm going to fight to keep it zero and, and keep it not calcified. And that's what I think these two products do so well. Excellent. And again, just, just to re-emphasize re that point, the variability depending on your choices and maybe some genetics. The oldest zero I've come across is a 77-year-old. And the youngest, highest score I've hit upon is a 29-year-old in the U.S. with a score of 600. Just yesterday in my clinic, I had a 52-year-old who walked in, didn't know what he was coming in for, new patient, calcium score 2,400 at age 52. And uh, interestingly, he has a pulmonary condition called sarcoidosis, and I could not find any medical literature that that inflammatory lung disease uh, causes accelerated coronary calcification. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but his whole lab panel was drawn and is pending and he might just be a lipoprotein A inheritor. Uh, we'll see his father had early heart disease and uh, sarcoid is not transmitted genetically, but lipoprotein A is. And then I have one patient about four years ago at age 89 said, my lifestyle has been perfect for 50 years. I want a calcium score. Honest on a Bible zero at 89. <laughs> I've never published that and I probably should because that may be uh, a world record indicating it's not inevitable that your blood vessels are going to age. That's it exactly. So anyway, what we were talking about there was VASQ-Flow, that's V-A-S-Q-F-L-O-W, I think. And uh, we'll be back again chatting, uh, Joel, next time on some other fascinating products or tips around how you maintain that healthy heart and vascular system for as long as humanly possible. Excellent. Look forward to it. Hope you enjoyed that chat with Dr. Khan. Uh, I quite enjoy meeting up with him, even though we do have some differences on the dietary front. But in any case, the product we were discussing there is available. There's a discount code IVERVASQ20. And only if you have the means and you wish to augment your existing dietary and exercise regime to maintain a healthy low blood pressure, but completely optional, of course. And again, disclosure, I do make a little, which helps with my general mission to save population from type 2 diabetes, heart attacks, and many other modern chronic diseases. So it does help me a little bit and completely optional for you guys if you want to avail of that 20% discount and try out this product. So till next time, thank you.